Hey there, Bootzone here. This is a Beko WMB 61431W. Just found this today on the street. It's in a outside a house that's being refurbished. So I have every confidence that it works because they're probably just getting a new kitchen or a new set of appliances put in. I'm gonna test wash it now. Over here, I was working on this Bosch before and I can't get it to go. So that might be written off. I don't know how much time I'm willing to put in. Beko, meanwhile, let's plug you in. Let's turn the water on. Check the drain hoses into the bowl or in there. Ooh, we've got a clock coming on, time saver. I've put some soap in there that I scraped out with the other machine. Time saver, mm hmm Something that is not very hot. Cotton's, Cotton's Eco, they're very long. Sometimes synthetics is faster. Oh, it's not much faster. Spin, let's put on the high speed spin. No, it won't do that, so I need cottons. Well, I wonder will time saver do the high speed spin? It probably won't. Oh, there it does, okay. We'll go for time saver. Crank it up to 40. Oh, back up to here. Crank it up to 40, this is the time saver. Quicker wash. No, that doesn't gonna work here, I'd say. Um, I've got workshop rags in it. Let's have a quick look at this. Beko WMB. 61431W made in Turkey 2013 is it? I don't know what these things 6 kilo machine it was A plus back when that meant something so it's probably like F nowadays it's covered in dust and stuff and I've put a filter video up the filter was clear on it let's close the door hangs down a bit which is a bit strange because when you go to close it it won't close you have to lift it to snap it shut I need to level up the feet, and it's a slimline machine, actually. So there, take that as you want it. I'll level up the feet and turn it on. So there we go, it's good and level. It's dropped to 800 spin again. Get back up there. 14, start before it changes its mind. Did that happen? Wash. Click, click, anything. It might not work, of course, I heard a click. It's gone from ready to wash. Water's on. Ooh, we're off. It's taking some on the pre-wash side. I should take some on this side. Oh, there's a pump kicking. Nothing there to pump out. More water. It's a bit slow to start this machine. It really needs a clean up. It's pretty grotty. There we go. Will the motor work? And then the next question, yes, the motor's working. Sounds good too, no clickety clack. Sounds pretty good actually. So it'll tumble a bit, fill with water, and then will it get up to 40 degrees? I'll test that on the door whenever we're into it. It's a bit grotty, you can't see, well, you can actually. You can see it through the glass there. It's uh, It's got snots in around the door seal, but only at the bottom, It's not. it's not very bad inside. I think it's been in a house that's just being renovated so it's really quite dusty probably had builders tea or something sitting on it or something like that i think it'll clean up just fine being that it's a slimline one i'll try not to wreck it like it did that i think it was a candy i had before that i it was i think the one before was actually even slimmer i think but uh i'll just leave it to do i'll come back when it's warm if i'm paying attention and hopefully we'll catch some of that 1400 spin which is quite a good spin for a little machine That'll, that'll, you know, that really gets them, gets the laundry a good bit drier. Especially than my old, like, 800 spin hot points and things that I've had in the past. Stay tuned. So, 10 minutes in. It's a little bit warm, so it looks like that machine might be working. That's pretty good. Happy days. There's a washing up brush in there, as you can see. Um, getting cleaned with my workshop rags, so... That's what's doing the clunking.
That's getting nice and warm in there now. It's got to be coming up to temperature. The plastic's cracked on that lower fascia down there, which is a bit of a shame. Other than that, the machine seems to be pretty good, apart from being grimy. But everything's coming off it so far. This slide. There we go. That's pretty good. to take the time it's all there I could just weld it back together you just want to give the top a clean so why was this left out well probably somebody was getting their house done up and another 500 quid on a washing machine makes them feel like they've got a new utility room or whatever instead of spending half an hour like me or less cleaning the thing and feeling like they're getting good value out of their investments so I think something like laundry machines, you know, you could consider them an investment if you're actually using them. Nearly 20 minutes in now and it's nice and warm. Nice and warm to the touch. Excellent. I managed to break it while I was washing it. Not good be able to glue it together coming up on halfway through the wash it's nice and warm and it's just working away quite happily and the machine's a lot cleaner now it's down to 16 minutes it's draining out a load of yucky water not too bad the filter was nice and clear so there shouldn't really be any issues with it in terms of spider crusts or anything like that if it's got 15 minutes, it might do two rinses. There's the rinse water for one. Ten minutes to go and we're on to a pretty good spin there. It's on the rinse phase but we knew that already. Six minutes to go. It's pumping. The water's coming out pretty clear now at this stage, which is good. I'm not sure if it's gonna take on more rinse water. Oh no, it's gone on to spin, so that should be that. So let's see how the spin goes. The 
water's coming out very clear. Two minutes, there's a bit of suds in the door. Not sure why they're not draining down. put super glue on this just now and it seems to have bonded it pretty well so I'll try and click that back on. says door's not open yet it says end up on top now I've broken off this little plastic thing here when this came off which is no good but it's life Let's see if I can salvage it nope so I'll just have to hang on there heard the interlock there's the door take a look inside it didn't seem too aggressive for a what was it a 1400 spin stuff seems okay these are all just workshop rags so I'll have to give this a bit of a clean out as well it's all right these bits can go into the next wash do another test on it just show you what I mean here the bit of snots in there actually is that blocked Stick a screwdriver into the holes. Maybe that's why it was rushing up at the end there. I think that's got it. Probably needs a bit of a scrub. There's my brush. And gloves and things like that. I'll put them into a tumble dryer now because I've got a tumble dryer today as well, which I have to test as well. So the end symbol has just disappeared. Let's turn it off. Turn it back on to cottons. There we go. So I'll turn it off again. Beko WMB61431, found on the street. Nothing wrong with it, other than a bit of grime and dirt. What are we going to do with the world? Questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.